In this lecture, presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to be learning a really cool trick, in my opinion, and it's called the Volumes of Revolution. Uh, to give you the formula, and then I'll actually go in-depth into what this is, V equals the integral from A to B of pi f of x squared dx. Alright, so I've given you a formula. What am I talking about? Well, if you have a graph of some arbitrary f of x, and then you want to rotate it around the x-axis to form some type of solid, this is the formula you would do to find it. So if you're just drawing a cylinder, you would have a straight line that would be rotated and would give you a cylinder, a solid cylinder. By the same logic, you can take you can make yourself uh, the volume of a sphere if you use the function f of x equals the square root of r squared minus x squared which would look on your graph like this that would give you a full sphere after you rotate it using this formula that we have laid out here so you t basically take whatever your function is and you revolve it around your axis to get a volume. That's what this formula does and we're going to do some practice problems. Bring up a new note here. Let's just start with the absolutely simplest case where f of x equals 2. So on your x-axis this is going to well on your graph is going to give you a straight line that goes across a 2. And we're going to rotate it around the x-axis to make a volume. So we'll plug this into our formula. And let's take it from x equals 0 to x equals 10. This is 2 squared dx, which equals pi 0 to 10 of 4 dx, which equals pi 4x evaluated between 0 and 10, which equals 40 pi. Well, let's check this to make sure that this is right before we go any further. The area, or the volume of a cylinder, as you might very well know, is the area of one of the ends times the length. Area times length is volume. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So if our radius is 2, our area is going to equal 4 pi. And if you multiply it by 10 length, you get 40 pi. So this checks out. I'm going to do the volume of sphere. Uh, we got a lot of examples to do on this one that are going to be done in our practice problems, but I'm just going to do the sphere now and then end it for this lecture. As I already gave you the uh, equation, f of x is going to equal the square roots of r squared minus x squared. And this comes from the equation of sphere. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So if you solve for y, this is what you get. Plug that into our formula. And we're going to get x squared, or sorry, r squared minus x squared. Or really, it's going to be the square root of r squared minus x squared. But that's squared, so that cancels out the square roots. And we're evaluating this between negative r and positive r. And that makes sense. If you did your graph here, your circle goes from positive r to negative r. If, say, we had 4 as our radius, we'd be going from negative 4 to positive 4. So 
Uh, very minor details. This is going to give us pi r squared x minus one third x to the third evaluated between negative r and r. Doing that evaluation is going to give us pi r to the third minus r to the third over three minus pi negative r to the third plus r to the third over three. See this all equals two thirds r to the third. This all equals negative two thirds r to the third negative plus so adding that together with your pi gives us the formula pi hey, sorry four thirds pi r to the third which you can look up and you will find that that is the volume of the sphere this is where these volume formulas come from like I said we'll get a bunch of practice problems that we're going to do this and look for the next lecture where we're going to be doing volumes of shells. That should be a good one.